Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the forex market. Today I would like to show you two different uh, patterns. It's, uh, they, they look very similar on the euro currency on the cable, but on the cable it looks slightly different. In general today it's really big question in what uh, actual degree we could rely on a technical analysis just because as you understand everything will be driven by the statement from the Fed Reserve, which comes a bit later in the session. But still, we will try to do something. In general, uh, it's difficult to argue against the big patterns that we have. And actually, that's currently our primary pattern. I mean, grubber on the weekly chart is on the dollar index on the euro. They suggest downside continuation, significant drop here. And from that standpoint of view, we have bearish context on the daily chart. We do not want to take the sh uh, long position on the euro currency on the daily chart. Um, if you are trading on the daily and weekly, weekly you use as a directional uh, time frame, while on the euro on, on the daily chart you are choosing the points where you could take the position. And uh, here, actually, if you already have the short position based on the retracement that we discussed uh, in the weekend and and retracement that has happened yesterday, you could just keep your position. Be aware just uh, of the Federal Reserve results because it really could bring some mess on the performance. So that's what we need to control. But currently a risk is standing uh, from, I mean, from the Fed meeting, risk is standing in favor of the bears as well, because uh, here actually it's just one question. Uh, either the Fed will do nothing or they will just bring some more hawkish tones in a statement. It's uh, correspondingly, it uh, stands between the neutral and more bearish background for the euro currency from that standpoint if you have even short position it seems that risks are not really significant only some volatility could make impact on the market performance but mostly dangerous for intraday uh, charts on the daily it's not as significant so uh, that what's about the daily but on the intraday charts so if you take a look at the full time frame chart take a look this is our pullback that has happened precisely from the predefined level we have said that this is the point where it theoretically could try and take the short position as we agreed to consider two levels. First level is a confidence, as we said, will be right there around one or nine area. Uh, currently, after the XOP has been completed, this is the target that we also discussed yesterday. This pullback has happened somewhere in this area, and as you can see, market right now is dropping down. Uh, so the tactical question right now is not in a major direction, it's not in a really big patterns that I suggest, but what will happen right there? So whether we will get a straightforward downward breakout or we should we could get some kind of this type of the performance, some sort of the ABCD pullback to the 1 or 890 confluence area again. Um, on a euro currency, this scenario looks a bit choppy. So we have this ABCD passion, but this performance, well, it's a bit uh, too many retracements, some kind of the just downside direction, but no clear patterns. But if you will take a look at the cable on the four hour time from chart in particular here, you could see clear regardless triple to buy. And this pattern, yes, of course, it also stands on intraday charts. It has really short term tactical destination point, but uh, its target will be a 30% resistance on the whole hour action. So you could calculate it by yourself, but approximately this will be retesting of these lows and around 127.65, I suppose, and somewhere in this area will be the target. Um, well, this is slightly less than 100 pips to the upside, which is actually nice potential for bullish setup. And but this is only the half of the story. Second half of the story is actually you do not need to take too much risk because pattern stands in place. You have the lows and market for, for to show this retracement has to stay above these lows. So it, uh, this is very simple and clear pattern here. 
where we have this some risk that we could loss take the loss especially if the fed results will be a bit different of course we have risk but this risk will be just between this entry point 2690 which is actually agreement on the hourly chart of this ABCD patient to the XOP and 2667 lows. As you can see, it's very small risk, approximately around 30 pips, even smaller. This is just for those of you who are, well, considering taking long positions, would like to trade something tactical, short term. Um, th this is if you're considering in general such kind of setups. It might be interesting. Yes, Fed brings a lot of uncertainty in the perspective of this pattern, especially when we have a moderately bearish background for a dollar rivals as a cable, your currency as well, so dollar is right now is rising. But still, chances on some ABCD pullback here also exist. Besides, if you'll take a look at the 10-year bonds, you could see here we have some minor retracement on the yields as well, it started. But uh, just to repeat that uh, this is only for intraday performance for only for this session it's very short term you should not marry any long position you should not take the long and sit on the hands and see what will happen because if pullback will happen it will be just short term don't forget that we have strong bearish context on the higher time frames but personally why i decided to show you this um, just because it looks r r really clear it's a very uh well readable pattern it's very evident Here's we have some slowdown of the ABCD action down here to complete the OP, which is good sign for a possible pullback. Um, that's why I think that might be interesting. Risk reward ratio looks great. Also, it's not really big risk with this trading. Um, the one thing that you theoretically could try to do is maybe to wait for some another pattern, but I do not see, know what really uh, else might be formed here. Only some kind of the double bottom maybe. But in fact, here we already have some kind of the gutters cheaper to buy in agreement support, which is actually interesting entry point. <clears throat> That's only thing that uh, actually, I guess I would like to show you. On your currency, we have the same approximately with the XOP gutters cheaper to, and theoretically we also could get some. Uh, sorry, this dollar index. We also could get some pullback out from this, some deep retracement, as I said. But on a great, great British pound, it looks a bit more attractive, I would say. So um, that's just a minor add-on to the overall picture. Overall context remains bearish. If you trade on the daily chart, just ignore these intraday patterns, especially you already have the short position. Just think about how you will protect them during the Fed meeting results. Um, and let's see uh, what will happen today in the evening.